I'm making a meal in my slow cooker and thought I'd film it for my YouTube channel today. So what I'm starting with are three frozen chicken back legs. They weigh roughly three pounds total. It's 1.2 kilograms. Okay. Now to this, I'm going to add some frozen pineapple bits. There we go. So the pineapple will break down as it warms up. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit more in. So it'll be a total of two cups of pineapple um, chunks, I guess is the right word that I would use to describe this. Oh, you can see what's happening in here. This is why you don't stick your tongue on metal when it's cold outside. Okay. Okay. Now we need to add some more to this. So another very easy item to add is chunky salsa. And what it's gonna do is give a bunch of vegetables. This has tomatoes, jalapeno peppers, onions, vinegar, and it's got spices for flavoring. So it's gonna give a nice punch and add a lot of substance to this. Okay, so that is equal to about one and a half cups of, of the salsa. Some of these things I measure by looking. Now, separately, I also want to put in some onion flakes. So I'm going to put in two tablespoons. Okay. I want to add some parsley flakes to this as well. So that is one tablespoon. And what I have here is the large um, bulk size of parsley flakes. So it's here in stock when I want to make a dish. Okay, and I want to add in half a cup of brown rice. Now there's a bit of love-hate relationship with brown rice. It means that the slow cooker is going to need to go on low and we need to add water for the rice to cook and so it won't be solid and not have the right texture. So I'm going to put in a cup of, of water. Here we go. Okay, and I would like to have a vegetable in here as well a little bit more besides what's there already um, so I'm gonna put in this cup of green peas I know that this is not a typical mixture that you might see together but I think these ingredients will jive together quite nicely so the lid on this is going to be really important because that little bit of water is going to come up. It's going to hit the top of this and then it'll be like a self-basting turkey roaster where the rice gets the water. Now, there's frozen meat in here and then there's the frozen vegetables and the pineapple as well. So this is going to need to sit for 12 hours on low, meaning, you know, this will be an evening meal that's a little bit late, 9 p.m. ish, or it sits overnight and has additional time to cook and we, and I eat it tomorrow. Okay, but that's, I mean, that's really all that's involved in putting together a meal in the slow cooker. It doesn't even have to be this. You could put your potato, um, some type of beef and your favorite vegetable and just stick it in here. Throw in a little bit of the dried onions, a little bit of water 
and you know your parsley or whatever you're partial to for seasoning put it in here then it's ready for you when you come home from work it's a very easy way to cook and live if you're either in chronic pain physical disability or if you're just one person or if you and your wife want to watch a movie not spend your time you know preparing a meal using this will work out really well for you hope this has been helpful I'll share a photo of this uh, when it's cooked okay hope you're doing well every now and then I make a meal in my kitchen that honestly tastes like it came out of a restaurant and this has been one of these situations I honestly can't believe just how good this tastes this is a recipe that I put together by looking at what was available in my home and what I thought would work together well and it hasn't disappointed so I want to encourage you to try it doesn't need to be this recipe but I want to encourage you to try and do what you can for yourself to help yourself and improve the situation in life where you're at right now. Thanks so much for joining me in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.